All right, my little art friends, this week's unit is called The Blind Self-Portrait. Hey, let me ask you a question. If you didn't have to sleep, what would you do with that extra time? Let me ask you another one. What would your perfect room look like? Hey, what songs have you completely memorized? Look, look at this list of questions right here. I want you to take a minute and answer each one of these, and then we'll get back to what the unit's about. All right, we're back. Here's what it's about. The Blind Self-Portrait, the objective here is to understand how artists capture the personality without capturing the likeness. That's right, how can an artist create a portrait without representing what the person looks like? You know, we've looked at a few artists before who create portraits. Let's talk about last week's artist, Shepard Ferry. Now, Shepard Ferry does portraits of people. He did the Hope Obama poster. It looks like Obama. He also did the Andre the Giant stencil, as we saw last week. And as we know, that was a portrait of Andre the Giant, who was a wrestler from the 70s. And that led to the Obey poster. Now, those are portraits of people, and they kind of still look like the person. But how can you create a portrait without showing the person? So let's take a look at today's artist, Felix Gonzalez Torres, and he has done exactly that. He created this work, called Portrait of Ross. And let me show you a short video about it so you understand what's going on here. Um, and this is probably the most unusual portrait in the entire exhibition. It's Felix Gonzalez Torres, the great Cuban American minimalist. And it's 175 pounds of Jolly Rancher style candy. Um, and its title is Candy Spill. And then the, the giveaway as to why it's a portrait is the parentheses thereafter for Ross. And what Gonzalez Torres did was he, 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 he created an artwork out of this 175 pounds of candy, which represented his partner, Ross Laycock's weight when Ross was healthy. And the intention of the piece is that each visitor, as they look at it, will walk away taking a piece of candy with them. So what happens over time is that Ross gradually diminishes and disappears, mimicking his disappearance and death because of AIDS. That's right. That's his portrait right there. It represents his weight, and then when you take a piece away, it represents how he lost weight and then later died. I saw this piece in a museum and actually got to take a piece of the candy with me. It was very interesting. It's really interesting how you can make a portrait of somebody and not even make it look like them. And that's your challenge today. So your project, simple. Create a work of art that captures your personality without drawing your likeness. Let me show you some student examples of people who've done this before. This one right here was actually done by somebody else for her, and she recognized it right away. She loved her blind portrait because this person captured all her personality, but it doesn't look like her. It's just representation of things that were about her. Let's look at a few more here. This one, you can tell a lot about this student. She probably likes the outdoors. She obviously likes music, and she was a cougar. Hey. Look at this one right here. It's three-dimensional. Like, you can tell a lot about that person if you look at that really closely. But it doesn't look like a person at all. It's not a portrait. And that's what we're trying to do here. We're going to capture the essence of you without you actually drawing yourself. You want to brainstorm a little bit? I think you should do that. Now, go back and look at those questions I had you answer. Circle the words that stand out to you. And then sketch out some ideas based on the circled words. Now listen, here's a hint. Don't try to use all the words. Just look for the ones that really stand out. And then capture your personality with only one or two simple symbols. If you have too many symbols, it's going to get cluttered. Okay, that's your unit for this week. Give it a go.